happy to say yes. I appreciate that very much, Mr. Chairman. I uh, am delighted to have Darren Smith here witnessing him today. I'm very familiar with Devin and with uh, Larry Nichols and your whole operation, how sensitive you've always been historically to uh, environmental issues. Uh, let me ask you just a couple of questions real quick here. Devin's projected the uh, emissions from the EPA air rules have been overestimated by as much as 1,400%. Uh, percent. The, uh, in addition, a study was put together by API and ANGA, and they came out with uh, the overestimation also of primarily methane. Uh, now, they didn't come to the, exactly the same number conclusion. Can you tell me how both of you are right or, or were both of you right on this estimate? Sure, thank you. It, it, there, does, there does seem to be a disagreement in the numbers, but, but I think it can be uh, um, um, described this way. The, the, the API study looked at two categories of, of, of emissions separate from the work that we've done. So uh, they, they recognize that uh, when you combine overestimates in these two categories, it actually uh, lowers the EPA uh, emissions by a half. Uh, our, our work was specifically around uh, completion emissions, and what we've demonstrated is that EPA's uh, actual emission factor for completions was uh, several uh, factors too high. So, so, so you can think of these two, these two studies as complementary, but, uh, but uh, they, 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 ba they basically describe different categories sure, of sure. emissions from the industry. Okay, that, that, that makes sense. Now, in your testimony, you uh, estimate uh, that, that Devon has lost more than $40 million to the atmosphere under the EPA's analysis. Can you explain how you arrive at that number and, and how uh, Devon and other comp companies can justify losing that much um, of their product? Sure. You know, the, the, the calculation is, is, is real simple. We, we, uh, we look at the number of, uh, of wells that we drill uh, and hydraulically fracture. And then we couple that with the, uh, with, the, with the volume of gas that EPA claims we're losing per well, and then we factor that uh, with a gas price to come up at, uh, with, with 40 million. So, so, so that's, that's a large number, and, and, and clearly uh, uh, companies successful as Devon um, mm. cer certainly couldn't tolerate that, that, uh, that level of waste. I see. Uh, and I wanted to ask you also about Wise County, uh, Texas. That's the Dallas-Fort Worth area. That's in Region 6. Became a little bit famous with all the Crucify uh, comments and, and all that with the Armadares. Um, they recently have found that they are out of attainment. And what I'd like to, uh, to uh, ask you, that uh, could their being out of attainment be based on faulty science? And uh, can you explain how the EPA arrived at its decision and the potential impact the decision could have in other areas? Sure. Sure. We, we, we do believe that EPA's decision to include Wise County as ozone nine attainment is not based on good science, and I can describe that. Um, first of all, there, there is not an ozone monitor in Wise County, so, so EPA's decision to include it as a non-attainment county comes from the concept of of its contribution to not You say there's no monitor in Wise County? There is no ozone monitor in Wise County, that's mm -hmm. correct. So again, EPA's uh, uh, decision to include it as an ozone non-attainment county comes from its, its uh, belief that it is a contributor to non-attainment downwind. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, the winds in this part of Texas don't blow in such a way that, uh, that emissions in Wise County could contribute downwind uh, uh, ozone problems in other counties. The wind only blows in that direction that would be needed to transport pollutants into non-attainment areas only 2% of the time. So what we've, what we've seen with EPA is that they've taken a, a what we kind of regard as a sub-microscopic approach to trying to find some evidence to link the emissions in Wise County to non-attainment elsewhere. They've employed uh, a back trajectory model that that really has only demonstrated that winds uh, come from Wise County to a non-attainment area only twice in three years. And, and in fact, on one of those occasions, the winds never did originate in Wise County. They originated in a non-attainment county, circled through Wise County, and then landed back in a non-attainment yes. county. And, and the other thing I need to emphasize is, is that model that they employed that, that, that was not employed by any other EPA region in the nation. In fact, other EPA regions have discredited it because it's not reliable. Uh, the model that they used in no way is, uh, makes a connection between 
emissions in one area and ozone formation in another. You, you may know that ozone formation is a complicated photochemical process and, and, and simply just by uh, looking at some sort of wind direction is, is by no means uh, some evidence that uh, that uh, that Wise County is contributing to ozone problems. Uh, well, that's a particular interest to me since my state of Oklahoma is downwind from, yeah. from Wise County. So I appreciate that very much, and thank you for your uh, testimony, Senator Brasso.